So as the longtime viewers of the channel may know, I kind of like putting together a kit over Christmas. And this Christmas will be no exception. So I looked around for a kit, something I wanted to assemble, and I came across this. And I wanted to build one of these for, I don't know, ages and ages. Uh, anyhow, I thought we'd take a look at the box and see what all's here. So I have opened this previously, but I haven't pulled the contents out yet. So uh, there's a good hint right there. It's from PAIA, uh, Music and Sound Electronics. I don't have my glasses up here with me. I'll have to work without them. Oh, well, it's a nice little sticker. There's kind of the standard information on capacitors and resistors. Some of the conductors. I'll have to read through that. A bit of uh, information on the kit assembly. Peanuts. There's always peanuts. Thrilled by peanuts. Let me move some of these out of the way. There's an AC adapter, a couple of boxes with a bit of heft to them. There's actually a bit of weight there. Lots and lots of peanuts. This looks to be case parts. So of course there's the big reveal. Fat Man, it is a analog synth. Uh, see, I've always wanted to build up one of these, so it'll, it'll be fun. Hopefully to build this up, it should be fun. I think I see printed something down here. There it is. So they're actually printed manuals. That's nice. I don't have to go download PDFs and print myself. I definitely like that. Thank you. So let's uh, set this aside and dig a little bit deeper. So two hefty boxes of material, power adapter, case components. I'm guessing the PCB is probably in this bag as well. So let's just take a look. Uh, looks like some wire ties. Maybe a bit of uh, bell wire feet. It might be actually spring wire, I don't know. Uh, the wooden end caps. I guess it's up to me to finish them. However I want them finished. Aluminum panel. I'll need to remove the plastic to clean that up. Printed circuit board must be with that. So cool. And of course the front panel. Get it out of the bag so there's not as much reflection. Uh, you know, pitch, glide, offset, etc. A MIDI in through. So it is MIDI controlled. So it should be a lot of fun. This should be a lot of fun to play with. Uh, some of this back in the Looks like a sticker for maybe for the MIDI. The, the switch settings for the MIDI, rubber feet, mounting hardware. So if it follows the manuals I found on the website, the original manual takes you through a rack mount configuration and assembly. <coughs> and then there's this add-on here that talks about the specifics for the desktop case. So uh, what I saw online, these, these look very well done, very nice. Uh, they're certainly better printed here. Yeah, this is much higher copy. The PD, PDFs I found online were pretty, weren't great. Uh, resolution and these look much nicer much more concise maybe even later versions looks really nice awesome glad to have it uh, I'm sure we're just gonna find a normal wall adapter here with peanuts in the box just to make it more exciting yeah appreciate that it kept it from moving around as much in there uh, 12 volts AC Nice. I know this design's been around a long time, and uh, after I ordered it, I needed to pass some information on and sent an email and got a reply. And one of the things, as, as we dealt with, I made a mistake in ordering with shipping address, and as we corrected that, 
his last unit sold out and I had to wait a couple days for his parts to get in so we could do another shipment. So that's pretty cool to know that these are still actually shipping. Wow. Now I knew coming in it was very old school and then it's a single sided PCB. It looks like a very nice PCB. Uh, would help if I had my glasses. I know I've said it about 20 times here. They're downstairs at on the desk. Uh, very nice. It looks like it's that complex build. The silk screening from what I can see looks really nice. Uh, is that actually gold plate back there perhaps? Looks really nice. There's a technical questions card. Missing parts and comments. That's nice. Very happy with what I'm seeing here. Everything here is, you know, it's very reminiscent to me of how kits used to be. It feels a little bit heath kittish, and that the components have come in, uh, uh, you know, separate boxes. There's a nice, high quality printed manual. Well, if I can open the box, we'll look inside. If I can't, I guess the assembly ends here because I'm not smart enough to open a box. Wow, that is really tight. Oh, more peanuts. Yay. Again, it's smart choice having the peanuts in here. Yeah, don't take my little snarky comment there wrong. Just kept things from moving around in transit, which is good. That's what they're there for. Wow, PNP. Oh, yeah, individually bagged. Voltage regulators, PNP transistors. Oh my god, that's a lot of resistors. And PNL. I built this because it looked like it was a fairly extensive build. Looks like diodes and of course LEDs. Capacitors, all kinds. Potentiometers. Only I think two of the only I believe two of the parts are socketed. Everything else they recommended directly soldering to the board for long-term reliability. The ICs. It's a sealed bag, but we'll go ahead and open it anyhow since we're here. Again, it's in a nice anti-static or static dissipative bag here, the, the pink. So I know there's like an 8035 or something like that microcontroller. I just I can't read the part number. Uh, 80C31 which controls the whole thing. It deals with the MIDI. It feels like an EEPROM. It must, yeah, it, it's got microcode. That's right, firmware. Opto-isolator, a little bit of other logic. All of the hookup wire. There's a lot of, of hooking up, hookup to do between that front panel where all the pots and switches are mounted and the actual PCB. Let's just put the ICs in there. What did I just do? Yeah. I want to put them back in the bag. A little better protected that way. I am on an anti-static surface here. I know a lot of people don't believe. Well, I've never had an issue <coughs> with static damaging a part. And, and that's truer with modern ICs. Modern ICs are more tolerant. There's a uh, Typically diodes on inputs of modern ICs that break down at 30 or 35 volts or, or someplace like that that will shunt a static shock off away from the IC. The problem here is that you can have a static event on an IC and not realize it. And that static event can start some electromigration. It can start metal moving on the die. And when that happens, the die will eventually fail. So, you know, it's worth taking precautions. Pots feel okay. Wow, it's a lot of potentiometers. Clips, there's the MIDI connectors, switches, uh, input output jacks for audio stream. This little bag here looks like it is all the knobs. Nice. And just a sea of potentiometers. Uh, one mag, one mag, 10K. 
yeah, it's exactly what I would have expected here. So it should be a fun assembly. So what comes next here for me? Next will be reading all the documentation, maybe even a couple of times, uh, getting a closer look at things, spending some time kind of visually looking at the printed circuit board to get familiar with the layout, etc., and have a little more comfort with it, and kind of planning this, as I like to do. I don't want to just jump in and start soldering stuff. I kind of like to understand the assembly thoughts they have, the process, uh, etc., and go from there. So, very cool. So, anyhow, I don't know if there's much more to say in this video besides uh, if you're still watching. I appreciate it, and I look forward to sharing the build with you. We'll talk soon.